Let's take a look at our constant energy battles in the country. Another day, another city without power. Parts of Cape Town have been left without electricity. It's being blamed on a fault on a high voltage line. The outage which stretches from the Atlantic seaboard to Woodstock started more than 10 hours ago. The city says it's working on the problem, but the felt fire in the area is making it difficult. At this stage, it's not clear when power will be restored. For an update on this story, the city's mayoral committee member for energy and climate change, Beverly van Rienen, joins us live now. Beverly, thank you so much for your time. Let's rewind to last night. I think I was actually here in studio when the power went out uh, just before 8 o'clock. What caused the outage? Good morning, Tafuna, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, indeed, I mean, a, a very difficult time um, with the outage last night because, it, you know, it became apparent to us that um, around 7 o'clock last night, actually, that there was a, an, an outage. And um, ever since last night, the um, city's electricity generation and distribution department has been working throughout the night to restore power um, using different um, supply routes. And um, as one of the main feeder lines from the city's Acacia high voltage substation to Montague Garden and Eskom Stapel by high, high voltage substation has been lost. So also, I mean, as mentioned, the fire um, also affected the infrastructure and that ex exacerbated the situation. So it was indeed a very difficult situation um, for our energy um, and electricity generation team as well as our fire department. So, um, yeah, it was indeed very difficult last night. Um, Let, let's talk restoration operations. Beverly, how soon are the people in the affected areas uh, going to have their power back? Are we talking a matter of hours or a matter of days? Uh, you know what? I mean, we are in communication firstly with ESCOM from the city side. We are very hopeful that within the next hour or two, um, certain areas um, will have, will be up and um, running, especially the Woodstock and the Eastern CBD. That should be back up within the next hour or two. Um, testing has just finished, in fact. So the other main line feeding the Tafel by substation and the larger areas of, of, I mean, that also is affected will take a little bit longer to fix. So the teams really, um, the Puna, they are working flat out to bring back the power because um, that is, I mean, it's, the, it's a priority for the city to ensure that we restore the power. Yeah, which, which areas have been affected, Beverly? The Woodstock and the Eastern CBD, as well as the Atlantic seaboard, um, you know, it's all been affected. So, yeah, we, we are hopeful, I mean, that... Um, Today, still, I mean, the larger portion will also be restored. But, you know, I mean, um, there is no restoration um, um, time for, for the broader area in terms of the Atlantic seaboard. But the Woodstock and the Eastern CBD, that should be back up within the next hour or two. Uh, you're saying there's no restoration time, Beverly. Does that mean you have no idea at all? We, we, we can't get a, a ballpark figure? Like, will people be able to cook Christmas lunch, for example? I, you, you know what, um, Tapsuna, the, as, as mentioned, the teams are out there. They are trying their level best as an interim measure to ensure that the businesses and our communities are not severely affected within the Area 7. I mean, a consideration is being given um, to switch to the Rochabai turbines to supply power to the CBD area. So, yeah, we are very hopeful that that will happen today, so that those turbines will be up and running. Those emergency measures, uh, how much relief are they going to provide? As mentioned, we are trying our level best to ensure that power is restored within the next hour or two. And the rest, um, we are very hopeful also, I mean, with our turbines, that we will be able to supply the power. Um, as mentioned also, I mean, it's the ESCO main line that was down. And clearly, I mean, that affected us in, in, in a severe way.